Hello dear Crusader Kings 3 players, I'm Athalas, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the third video of my Crusader Kings 3 character suggestion series and today we are going to focus on Persia. As you probably already heard that, there is a new DLC coming which is enhancing the flavor of Persia and this was the main inspiration behind this video. Probably with the new DLC, playing those characters will be much more fun although they are great to play right now. I'm going to share three different important figures in today's Persia and I hope you are going to enjoy playing them in your own playthrough. Let us start with the first and probably the most famous one of them, Hassani Sabbah. If you have already played Assassin's Creed, you should know the cult of Al Mualim in the game. He was a leader of a cult that is assassinating many prominent figures in the Middle East. The character Al Mualim is inspired by the historical figure Hassan Isabba. He is an 11th century Persian religious leader who founded a cult called Hashhashins and he was responsible for assassination of many important rulers, bureaucrats and religious leaders. The cult was following a sect of Shia Islam called Nizari Ismailism. During the war between Nizaris and Seljuks, they captured the castle of Alamut which is present in Crusader Kings 3 in 1066 start. With the capture of Alamut, the power of cult increased significantly and the order of assassins survived until 13th century. At the peak of their power they were controlling many strongholds in Persia and Syria. However, their fame did not come from their strongholds but the assassinations they perpetrated to both Seljuk and Crusader officials. During their rule over Alamut, they killed more than 300 people, including a ruler of Jerusalem and three Muslim caliphs. They were extremely prominent in their work, which caused the European word assassin to be derived from Arabic word hashashin, meaning either the people with principle or the users of hashish, an organic substance with delusional effects. Although the Muslim rulers tried to destroy the order, they were not successful. Their end came with the Mongol invasion over the Persia in the 13th century. The Alamut castle was captured by the Mongolian forces and one by one every headquarter of assassins fell to the hands of their enemy. The last stronghold fell in Syria in 1273 and no assassinations related with the Hashishians has been reported after that. In Crusader Kings 3, Hassan Sabba can be found in 1066 start inside of Persia. He has an intrigue education with 4 stars and he is a perfect character to destabilize great empires lying around the Persia. Unfortunately, he is not a stationary character and he changes where he resides in every start. To find him, open the character's screen by pressing the C button on the keyboard and search the house Sabbah. Then you can change your character to his overlord and land him to form a dynasty who can rule most of the Middle East by assassinating every rival they encounter. Before continuing with the second character Omar Hayyam, could you please subscribe to my channel? I'm creating content about many strategy games, including paradox games such as Hearts of Iron 4 and Crusader Kings 3. And the main motivation behind my work is your humble subscriptions. Do not forget to check other videos in my channel and we can continue to our journey to Persia with the second character, Omar Hayyam. Hayyam is one of the most important figures in the Middle East even today. I do not know where should I start to introduce him, but the best word to describe him might be polymath. He born in the capital of Seljuk Empire, Nishapur, and studied philosophy, mathematics, astronomy and science. Then he entered the service of Seljuk Emperor Melik Shah and the Grand Vizier Nizam ul -Mulk. Thanks to the Seljuk funding, he and his fellow scientists were able to carry out many astronomical observations to calculate the length of a year to perfect the calendar used on those ages. Their findings were accepted as outstandingly accurate today. During his lifetime, he contributed to study of mathematics extremely and 
he was one of the brains behind many theoretical concepts we use to understand the mechanisms of the universe around us, including the concept of irrational numbers, cubic equations and binomial theorem. Also, he was interested in music and poetry. Although the sources are not quite certain, there is a work called Rubaiyat, which is attributed to Amar Hayyam. Even though it is not certain that the work belongs to the famous astronomer Amar Hayyam, the poetry is great and if you are interested in such work, I suggest you to check it out because it is translated in many languages, including English. Unfortunately, after the death of Nizamul Mulk and Melik Shah by the hands of previously mentioned assassins, Hayyam fell from favor and died at the age of 83 in his hometown. Well, if I convinced you to play Omar Hayyam, you can find him again in 1066 start. Similar to Hassan Isabba, he is not a stationary character and travels through the Persia. You can find him in the same way as you find Hassan Sabba by searching the house Hayyam. And here we come to our last character from 867 start, Rostam Karanzade of Mazandaran. He is the sheikh of Mazandaran, Ruyan and Baduspan, making him a powerful count with three states under. He is a preacher of Mazdayasna which is the ancient religion of Persia and his dynasty looks quite shiny. He is a direct descendant of Sassanid emperors who ruled Persia between 3rd and 7th century for 400 years. It is possible to follow his lineage to the first Sassanid emperor Ardashir I. Sassanid empire was the last Iranian empire before the Muslim conquest of Persia. They were officially believing a faith called Zoroastrianism, which is one of the oldest organized faiths in the human history. Sassanids aimed to restore the glory of Achaemenid Empire and became a great power by completely controlling Persia and Iraq. Also, the Sassanid rule led to a development of science and arts in Persia, which directly affected the occurrence of great minds such as Omar Hayyam in the same environment under the Islamic rulers. The dynasty Sassanid is divided into six houses and one of them is Bawandits. They were historical rulers of Mazandaran province and they claim to be descendants of Sassanian prince Kavus. Bawandits is a great opportunity to restore the old Sassanid empire from the ashes and spread the old fate of Zoroastrianism over the Persia again. However, it is probably one of the hardest starts due to the presence of extremely powerful Muslim rulers around. And this was the last character I wanted to introduce you in this video. I hope this video inspired you to play one of the really interesting characters in Crusader Kings 3. It would be great if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. Also. I'd like to read your own experiences with the Persian characters and do not hesitate to share them in the comments down below. For now, goodbye.